Alright guys, welcome back to Garden Warfare 2. So here we are. This is it. Rux is back. And we're all asking the same question. Is he gonna be searching up? I'm not even fucking doing this. He is selling an ability today. Now you're probably wondering why am I not pissing my pants with excitement. I'm not even sure how to explain this. He's selling Arcane Lotus. Again. Oh, I d oh. Now the fact that he's selling this ability again, it wouldn't be so bad. Except that I wasn't even happy when this came out for the first time. Like, it wasn't bad enough that you're reselling an ability that's already out. But then of all the abilities you could have picked, you fucking pick this one. Like, really? So that's a no-go because we've already got it. I will buy this when I get the coins together because... It, it looks all right. Now, the only real consolation is that there is due to be a maintenance break today. I think it's due to happen at... Wait, what the fuck time is it? It's half seven. Shouldn't the maintenance break be right now? I'm recording this at half seven on Thursday. I'm fairly sure the thing said it was supposed to happen at seven o'clock UK time. Wait, let me go and check their website real quick. Oh, am I a dickhead or has it already happened? Transfer Zombies Garden Warfare 2 balance update for September 7th, 2017. Right, okay, so we got some shit to read. Hold up. Latest balance update for PVZ Garden Warfare 2 is now out. Check out the channel changes that have just come in. All party characters. Shared vanquishes now count towards party time. Fucking finally! Oh my god, how has it taken them so long to do this? Oh my god, I've been asking for this for so long. I don't even care to remember how long I've been asking for this. Thank you! Oh my god, it is about time. I swear down. Scientists armored heal station and armored bling station decrease cooldown by five seconds. I mean, I don't use either of them, but okay. Alien flower got buff. Increase ammo from 10 to 15. Increase damage of spore mist from 3 to 4. Oh, hold up, is this an arcane lotus buff? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Rose can now see ally's health bar when the ability is equipped. Good. Increase movement speed to match arcane enigma. Good. And heals 25 on self when activated. So arcane lotus is actually decent now. Like, there is actually something to gain out of using it. What I want to know is what the fuck has taken them so long? Like, why now? This is how the ability should have been to begin with. Necros increased damage from 5 to 6.5. I actually thought Necros was balanced already, but I'll take it. Electro brains and toxic brains increased recoil of zoomed weapon. What? what? Hang on a minute. Nerfed electro brains. The only reason they've done this is because I'm currently mastering this character. If I weren't playing electro brains, they wouldn't have touched him. How are you going to nerf a character that's already shit? How'd you figure that one out? Both the shrimp and the drake have been nerfed, and petrified cactus has been nerfed as well. Okay, well, I mean, there are a couple of dodgy ones there that I wasn't too sure about. Why the fuck they nerfed Electro Brains is beyond me. And also why it's taken them this long to buff one Arcane Lotus and two Party Time, I will never know. But at least it has happened. So thank you, PopCap. I haven't said that, I don't think, ever. Thank you. And one more thing I want to do. This is where, you know, the thank you is going to get quite quickly cancelled out. And the thank is going to get replaced with something else. Like a good solid middle finger. We have a few things to open in the sticker shop. Basically, we're going to be getting some abilities today. Even though Rux is selling one we already had, we are going to be hopefully getting two new abilities today as well. Because basically, they released this upgrade that you can buy for like seven quid. And in it, I think you get two party characters, you get two abilities, and you get some rainbow styles as well. Now, while I appreciate that they're giving two abilities, what I don't appreciate is that rather than putting them in rucks, they're making you buy it. It doesn't really so much surprise me because remember I play Heroes. I know all about PopCap and their shady bullshit, but seriously that is some scumbag shit. You make people wait like, what was it, four months without selling anything at all. And then the one time you actually want to bring something out, you make people buy it. Are you actually that desperate for money? I'm sorry, some people might not think it's a big deal. I mean, to me, it's not really a big deal, but I just think that's kind of scummy myself. But enough about that. We got some stuff to open, so we might as well do it. As far as like what we're going to be getting in these packs, that's probably just going to be coins. But the two abilities. Now, as far as the plant one goes, I've seen most people get the mood shield, which is a new ability for the citron. Although some people have been telling me that they got the multi shot. I mean, who knows? And then on the zombie side, I think Zero didn't get anything at all. Maybe that's because he already has everything. And then those who have been getting abilities have just been getting ones that they've already released, which means I could get something out of it if that's how it works, because I did miss a few. We'll go ahead and open these. These are just going to give us coins. Oh, we're getting 100 grand in each one. If anything, that's better. I tell you what, I'll go and get this chest, so that way it's at least kind of worth it. I mean, that looks all right. I'll take it. Right, so 50 rainbow stars out of this. And for some reason, they felt the need to give it to me in five different cards. Sure, why not? Let's get this one. This is basically turned into a pack opening. All right, we'll open this up. 
Fair enough. Got a gesture for the soldier. I mean, that's good. And this. All right, we ready then? We're going to open these up. We'll open up the plant one first. We're going to get something good. We've got the mood shield. Okay, fair enough. That's what I've heard most people have been getting. So, I mean, it's cool. I'll take it. So this one's supposed to be stronger than the normal one, but it doesn't last as long. I'm cool with that, honestly. And it changes color. So, I mean, that's exciting, isn't it? And then we got this one. What are we getting in this one? fucking coins. Alright, so what character does that go on then? So that might even be the best ability we've had yet. 50,000 bastard coins. Well, look at the bright side. We've got enough money to buy this, so might as well do that. And might as well spend the rest on these. Dragon skin. Dragon skin. Still no. And... Dragon skin. I fucking hate you. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. That was the new update. New super mix modes out as well. It, it, it's pretty bad. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new around here and you want to see more, then make sure you subscribe as well. Maybe even hit that little notification bell if you want. Tell you the truth, I, I don't like it. I think it's fucking stupid myself. But it's there and it takes you a second, so why not click it? And in the meantime, that's going to be it from me, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this update. Overall, I think... It's pretty good, and that is pretty much 100% down to the balance update. And I guess the mood shield's kind of cool as well. But let me know in the comments, and I would also like to personally know from Popcat exactly which zombie is applicable to use an ability called 50,000 coins, because clearly I know nothing about this game. In the meantime, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thanks as always for watching. Have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Come on, come on, come on. Release the brainstorm to make the motherfucking brain warm. A strange form, something kind of lyrical. Thank you.